So I found this fun little like activity on Tumblr called the 30 Days to Kingdom Hearts 3 Challenge. I'm assuming I'm supposed to answer one of these questions per day on Tumblr or something, but I don't have time for that. Also, we only have like two weeks left until the game comes out, so I just thought it'd be fun to answer these questions myself, and if you guys wanted to give your own answers, we could have a little conversation about that in the comments. Um, so let's start off. Number one is favorite game cover for Kingdom Hearts. Honestly, only the first game had a really good uh, piece of artwork as far as I'm concerned. All the other games just had characters kind of floating in space with no background, so it was really kind of stupid after a certain point. And they just kept throwing Mickey in just to have a Disney character on the cover because they didn't really give a shit about the Disney stuff by that point, but they were like, yeah, Mickey's here, it's Disney, and yeah, Terra Aqua and Ven and all them as well. But still, yeah, the first game just had, it had a full background and the artwork which was good. Uh, apparently, Kingdom Hearts 3's artwork uh, for the box art also has like a full, full background and stuff, but I haven't seen that uh, that artwork yet. So that might replace KH1 as my favorite. Who knows? We'll see in a couple weeks. Number two, favorite Disney character in Kingdom Hearts. Hmm, that's actually a tough one. Uh, that yeah, is. Uh, you know, I I like Jack Sparrow. Um, I think Hades is a is a good villain. Maleficent, I wish, got more relevancy, if that's a word. Um, because after the first game, she kind of just got, like, sidelined to just random Team Rocket. We're here again, now we're blasting off, you know, like, no one really cares about her anymore. But I did like Maleficent. Um, hmm. That's a tough one. I mean, my boy Goofy, of course. Oh, yeah, I'm wearing a Donald Duck shirt. But I'm not ever going to vote for Donald Duck in regards to Kingdom Hearts because he's failed me too many times. Um, yeah, uh, probably one of those characters. I'm not entirely sure who's actually all in the game at this point anymore. I'm trying to think. Uh, yeah, I, I'll just go with like Goofy, maybe, maybe Jack Sparrow. I don't know. Favorite shield of Goofy's weapon. I don't know. Let me actually look up Goofy's shields. Goofy's shields, because I, you know, they all kind of blend together after a certain point. I don't think I've ever actually paid attention or, like, picked one out specifically that I liked. Hopefully there's pictures on this page. Okay, yeah, these are all kind of ugly. Uh, that one's kind of cool. Oh, no, no, yeah, no, uh, Seven Elements in Kingdom Hearts 1. I like Seven Elements a lot, um, just because it has all the Seven Elements. I um, mean, you know, seven whole spells in one game, that's pretty cool. Like, in Kingdom Hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts 3, apparently there's only six spells, which is whatever. Uh, his Kingdom Hearts 2 shows are actually pretty cool. Their designs are a lot better than the first game, at least. Uh, Majestic Mushroom... Sa oh, yeah, Save the King's always really good. Yeah, e either Seven Elements or Save the King. Um, I'm going to assume the next question is Donald's Staffs. Um, yeah. Number four, favorite of Donald's staffs, or staves, I guess. Um, let's bring that up. That's not a, that's I, IGN. I don't need IGN. I need Kingdom Hearts Wikia. Yeah, let's go. Okay. So, um, need staff. Made, all of these look the same to me. I don't really care about any of these. The the Dream Rod, I, I, like, I like the Dream Rod, just because, you know, it's like how it was in the Dream. It's just a very simple design, and yeah, it's hard to really tell what these staffs look like because of how the images are small and they're just kind of, yeah, I don't know. None of these are really that cool to me. Comet staff looks alright. Um, Centurion, of course. Uh, Precious Mushroom. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I guess just just Dream Rod. Nothing really stands out to me. Favorite dry form, including anti form. Uh, Limit's cool. I, final, obviously, everyone's just gonna vote for final. Everyone's favorite form is final form. Uh, like wisdom form, I think is aesthetically cool, and I like how you're just kind of like hovering and shooting. But at, at the same time, its damage output is some shit, and it's just kind of hard to maneuver at some points. And it's just like I would rather be in a different form whenever I go into it. So yeah, Final Form is just cool. Favorite boss, including secret bosses. Oh my goodness, that is a tough one. Favorite boss. 
Who do I love? Okay, I do actually love to fight Data Marluxia because I've like memorized his his uh, combos and everything. So, I guess Data Marluxia is my favorite boss. But Kingdom Hearts Two in general. Oh no no no! Uh, Final Zemnis. Final Zemnis is like the best boss fight in the series. Like compared to other final bosses and like KH One and Birth by Sleep and Dreamed Up Distance. Like Final Zemnis just has everything done correctly i'd say like that's how a, a final boss fight should be and the whole sequence of sora and riku blocking everything bro i it's 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 beautiful you know so final Zemnis or data marluxia one of those most difficult boss including secret bosses um lingering will i refuse to fight him legitimately only with that fenrir exploit um after him if we're not including secret bosses Master Ericus was kind of an asshole. Um, Zack was kind of an asshole. Um, hmm. Mo honestly, most of the time when I play Kingdom Hearts games, I'm kind of overleveled. Just because I have so much fun just fighting. Like, I always end up being way above where I should be. Like, in Birth by Sleep, whenever I start Aqua's Adventure, I and I'm not exaggerating, I'm always level 20 before I even leave... Uh, Cinderella's world like it's ridiculous at because I just especially at Birth by Sleep because you can meld commands and get new commands I just love just going back and forth and picking up new spells and fusing them into different spells and just trying to get as much as possibly done before I move on to the next world or even the, ne the, ne the next cutscene so I always end up at like level 20 just by grinding and fusing commands within Cinderella's world I think yeah Cinderella is her first world right yeah so yeah, so. Uh, favorite Disney World is question number eight. Um, I did end up liking Country of, of the Musketeers a lot more than I thought that I would. Um, Beast's Castle is cool. Honestly, Dream Drop Distance in general had really good Disney World, even if they were pretty empty. People always like Symphony of Sorcery, and, you know, it, it is cool. If it was in KH3 graphics, bruh, game over. Like, I want to see Symphony of Sorcery in KH3 graphics. Like, that would be amazing. Um, but actually, I think I'm going to go with either Country of the Musketeers or Halloween Town's cool. I, you know, I just like Halloween stuff in general. Um, favorite Final Fantasy character in Kingdom Hearts? Um, you know, I've actually been arguing with these guys on, on the internet, which is something you shouldn't do uh, today, because their argument is that Final Fantasy has never been relevant in Kingdom Hearts, and Final Fantasy characters are not main characters, and Leon was not a main character in KH1, and I'm like, bruh, Leon was a main character in KH1, like, you show up there, Leon, te like, tells you everything, he gets Sora going, like, without Leon, like, without Leon, Sora would just wake up in Trapper's Town, starve to death, I don't know, because Goofy and Donald only go there because Mickey says Leon's there, so if Leon's not there, Sora's just in Trapper's Town, wakes up, no one's around. He's just gonna have to just live there for his entire life. Like, have fun. No, no, no gummy ship, no magic, no nothing. I mean, I guess Merlin's there, but I don't know. But yeah, Leon really was the impetus for the entire plot. Without Leon, you can't do shit. So people saying Final Fantasy characters aren't relevant, that's some ignorant stuff, man. Like, Final Fantasy is really one of the backbones of the, of the franchise. Without that, you, you couldn't get the, the ball rolling. But yeah, uh, favorite character, I'm going to give it to my man Leon, actually, because Squall is cool as shit. And, you know, one of the main things I wanted to see in Kingdom Hearts 3 was the conclusion of Leon's adventure, like his, his arc in the first game. Uh, you know, he's a, he's kind of like a broken character. He For 10 years, you know, he's been calling himself Leon. He hasn't, like, been respecting himself because he failed his friends. And then in Kingdom Hearts 2, he's finally back home. They're, re they're rebuilding their city. And then at the end, he gets that letter that pr that's probably from Renoa. So I'm like, oh, shit, in KH3, Renoa's going to show up. And, like, Leon is going to go back to being Squall because he's confident in himself now. But now there's rumors saying there's no Final Fantasy characters even in the game. And I'm like, bro, are you are you for real right now? Like, after all these years, after a decade of waiting, I don't even get to see a conclusion to my man Leon's story? That's some bullshit, man. I mean, this is Square Enix, so there will be, like, an episode of Leon a year from now if we pressure Square Enix enough about that kind of stuff. But, no, yeah, Squall's my, my favorite, bro. Uh, favorite original world? Mm. Uh, Traverse Town. Either Traverse Town or Hollow Bastion in the first game, just because of how they uh, they designed it. Like there was a lot of interactivity and like puzzles and stuff. And I liked the worlds in the first game because of how 
detailed they were with with the puzzles and exploration and backtracking and like you could uncover new areas with later abilities that you learn. So I I, I hope KH three is like that because Kingdom Hearts two is very linear and Dream Drop Distance was exceptionally linear because you could just bounce wherever you wanted. So I hope that they're going to put more focus back in exploration and revisiting worlds to uncover new stuff in Kingdom Hearts 3, I, I hope. Happiest part in the series. It says not from KH3, but that seems impossible because the game isn't out yet, so how will we know? Um, happiest part in the series. Are there any happy parts in this game series? Like, it's either sad stuff or, like, melancholy stuff. I don't think there's ever been a happy moment in Kingdom Hearts. I guess when they get back to the islands, but even then, it's like, you guys did basically just kill Roxas and nominated to do this. Like, I don't know. Are there any happy moments? Ever? I don't even know. Like, I'm trying to think, but, like, I don't think... A happy moment. Happy. Kingdom Hearts. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get back to that one. If you guys have a happy uh, happy memory, definitely comment on that, because I cannot think of anything. Number 12 is the saddest part in the series. When Ventus gets uh, separated from Stitch. I cry every time, man. Like, Stitch is all just like, I want friends, and Ben's like, I'll be your friend, and then fucking spaceships malfunction, and then Ventus and Stitch never see each other again. That was... breaks my heart, man. In all honesty, that is a really sad scene. Um, I don't know, Shion's death, that's what most people will probably say, because the music's really good, but, I don't know. Favorite nobody is number 13. Haha, <laughs> that's the 13th question, I see that, okay. Favorite nobody, not organization members. Okay, so just the underling dudes. I'm gonna go with Marluxia's nobodies that we're seeing in Cage 3 trailers. I don't know what they're called yet, um, but obviously they're my favorites already. If I can't vote for Cage 3 stuff... Then I guess I'll just go with, like, Twilight Thorn. Because everyone else's subordinate nobodies are just hella annoying, and I hate fighting them. Especially the dancers. Fuck the dancers. The gamblers are also kind of annoying. They're all annoying, okay? That's 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 it. Okay, so Mar either Marlisha's nobodies or Twilight Thorn. Those are my favorite ones. Favorite unversed. Wow, they are all pretty bad. All pretty bad. Let me look up a list of uh, unversed. List of unversed. The Unbirths. List of Unbirths. Unboss. Um, Scrapper, Bruiser, Red Hot. Red Hot Toast Chili Pepper. Uh, they're all pretty bad. Because, I don't know. Yeah, they're all pretty bad. Um, hmm. Ah, Mandrakes. Fuck those guys. Buck oh, they're all awful. I, I hate all these things. Wheel, okay, yeah, Wheelmaster was tough. Okay, so, like, the bosses have, have cool designs. I don't know if I would say that I necessarily enjoyed fighting them, but Wheelmaster and Symphony Master... Meta, yeah, okay, a lot of the bosses are really cool. Um, I'm gonna go with the Symphony Master. He's tough with, like, the music playing. I, I love musical-themed powers. Uh, favorite, Heartless. See, this one's hard because there's like a thousand Heartless now by this point, and I honestly cannot narrow it down enough. Like, especially with Unchained Key, they just keep adding in more and more Heartless for no goddamn reason, and I have no idea. They're, they're, like, they're like Pokemon. There's like 800-something of them now. Um, so, yeah, I'm not even going to... Oh, my God, dude. There's so many. Neo Shadows are cool. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, this page just goes on forever. The blocks, and then the, all these guys. I don't even recognize any of these guys. They're all from Unchained Key. Wow, why are there so many of them? Guard Armor's cool. Uh, Kurt Ziza. Uh, wow, yeah. Damn. Wow. Wow. There's so fucking... This is still Kingdom Hearts 1, isn't it? I don't know. I give up. Okay, I'm just gonna go with... I think there's a pumpkin-looking one in, in Unchained Key. I'll go with that. It's a pumpkin. I fuck with that. Uh, favorite Dream Eater. Okay, I do fuck with Dream Eaters. Dream Eaters are really cool. List of Dream Eaters. Um, this might be easier. This video is kind of rambling on for a while. But, I mean, you know, 
I gotta give you guys my full thoughts. Pega Slick. Yeah, I I love me a Pega Slick. Cyber Yog. Yog? I don't know. Cyber Yog. Use the Dark Magician Yog. Okay, I'm gonna go with the Pega Slick. That's pretty cool. Okay. Number 17. Favorite or funniest minigame? I am not answering that. Mini games in Kingdom Hearts are awful. All of them. Every last one. I hate them all. Ice Cream Beat? Kill myself, right? Atlantica in Kingdom Hearts 2? No. Just beat me in the face with a shovel instead. I'm not answering that question. Number 18. Favorite party member or members? Ah, uh, man. I d don't like any of them because I'm usually just fighting on my own. Uh, huh. Beast, I guess, is actually relevant because he helps you win in the first game in Hollow Bastion, so. Beast is a total bro for that. I'll go with Beast. Fuck everyone else. Favorite battle music? I actually saw this question ahead of time and I have my iTunes up because if I like a piece of music, it'll be in here. It's an ABC order, JK. Okay. Battle music. Shrouding Dark Cloud. I like this one. Yeah, yeah, let's go, yeah. Okay, that one's cool. Uh, is Riku Vim, Vim and Vigor? Oh, yeah, 13th Vim That's not what I clicked on, but... Oh, yeah, this one's tough as hell. 13th struggle. Yeah, Reflection. Oh, Reflection as well. Rage Awakened. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Darkness of the Unknown. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with this one. Because of this part. Alright, yeah, I'm going with Darkness of the Unknown. That song is great. But pretty much everything I played is is up there. Master, tell me the truth. Okay, favorite music, not battle. Okay, so I still need this up. Uh, um, Probably Xion's theme. Dearly Beloved Reprise? Oh, shit. I just got hella nostalgic. Yeah, I'm going with that. Dearly beloved reprise from the first game. The the, the ending menu thing. Yeah, yeah. Favorite Keyblade. Oh, list of Keyblades. I really should have had this up beforehand. I apologize. List of Keyblades. I had no idea how many Google searches I would have to perform. Um... Ultima Weapon is always different in each game, so that's cheating. I do like Diamond Dust a lot, because it's it's ice-type, so I like ice-based things. Oh, uh, Rumbling Rose is actually really cool. Um, hmm. Yeah. Okay, Winner's Proof. Yeah, there's a, oh, all the Days ones just look kind of weird, because they're all, like, weird. Scroll down. Get to the next game. Damn. Um, shouldn't these be under separate tabs? Not just like... Okay, anyway. Uh, yeah, nothing in Birth by Sleep really sticks out. I mean, Sweet Stack's cool. Oh, yeah, No Name. No Name's cool as hell. Royal Radiance. Um, Rain Fell, Storm Fell. Knockout Punch. Counterpoint. Dual Disc. Huh. I don't know. What was it? Okay, Diamond Dust, Rumbling Rose, whatever that third thing I said was. Let's go with those. Favorite Organization 13 member is question number 22. That is Marluxia. Thank you. That was obvious already. Most shocking plot twist. Ooh. A Dream Drop Distance had some good ones, like the organization being uh, restored. Even though it annoys me that Ienzo knew what recompletion was, and it's like, if recompletion as a concept is common knowledge to you guys, you could have just killed yourselves at any time as nobodies and just come back as humans. I don't know why you guys did anything you did. If you knew what recompletion was, like, why are you struggling to, like, do any of this? Just, what? What are you doing? You're wasting everyone's time. Ten years? We gotta get our hearts back. Okay, then just wreck yourself, dude. Just come back. It's not hard. I don't know why they're doing any of this. Like, yeah, so that was a plot twist. Uh, 13 Xehanorts. I guess it's shocking. It's kind of stupid. Um, I can't really think of any, like, intense... Pl oh, uh, Ansem the Wise being Diz. That was that was a pretty good one, I'd, I'd say. Um, that one wasn't that bad. 
Uh, Terra being Xemnas, or like being possessed, is a good one. One of those. Favorite trio. Sora, Goofy, and Donald. Because Sora, Riku, and Kairi is not... It, it, that isn't a thing. It's Sora and Riku as a duo, and Kairi in the background somewhere. Roxas Axel and Shion is good, but it's a very toxic relationship, which is the point. Um, but it's like, whatever. And Terra, Aqua, and Ventus are a trash trio, bro. They all are not good friends. They all hate each other low-key. So yeah, Sora, Goofy, and Donald. Most exciting battle. I can't even tell you. Probably, probably Final Xemnas again. From something from uh, Dream Drop Distance. The Young Xehanort fight was... Oh! The uh, uh, Ventus Armor Darkness Nightmare thing. That was pretty hype. I was like, yo, what's going, what's going on? And then when uh, the Ventus Armor began to use Shot Lock. Because like, all you hear is like... And I was like, what? is that a Shot Lock? I was scared. I was like, oh man. Okay, yeah, so that was exciting as hell for me. Favorite Kingdom Hearts game for story? It's definitely uh, a Days, for sure. Days has the best written plot. Um, everything else is like, whatever. Favorite game for gameplay? It's obviously KH2 Final Mix. Like, no other game has come close. Kingdom Hearts 3 can try, but uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix is the pinnacle for the series right now. Number 28, favorite quotes. Favorite quotes. Um, you know, anything Ansem says in the first game, this world has been connected, all that stuff. One of my favorite lines as Riku's in a Dream Drop Distance, just, are you always, keep, are you always keeping him trapped in that nightmare? Because if you are, I'm what nightmares fear. That, I was like, oh wow, that's, that's a good quote. Because if you are, I'm what nightmares fear. I was like, oh damn, let's, let's go with Riku. Um, Riku has some good, some good quotes. Um, I'm going to go with that one for right now, that Riku quote. And then, of course, everything Ansem says in the first game in general. It takes a lot of skill to, to, to take a really one-note character like Ansem and then just make him an amazing villain just through your voice work. Like, Billy Zane definitely made Ansem popular. Without, without, without Billy Zane to play that guy in the first game, I don't think anybody would really give a shit about him. Um, favorite opening cinematic? Um, the one from 0 0.2 is really good. Uh... I'm looking forward to seeing what KH3's is for sure, um, but I think 0 0.2 had a, a lot of good stuff in it. Dream Drop Distance would have been my favorite if they chose a different song. I don't like how like it's the orchestra version of whatever song it is. I don't know. Uh, number 30, favorite character overall and why? It's Riku because he has the best development. Like he began as this like little like insecure bitch boy, like yeah I'm the cool guy, but like I'm sad inside. And then like he got jealous. And then, you know, try to, like, use Kairi as an object of, like, like, haha, I'm the hero, Sora, I have this girl now. It's like, that isn't how that works, Riku. Like, oh, yeah, well, it is. And then Riku got his own Keyblade, and then he, like, he, he got better. And now and now he's, he's a Keyblade Master, and, you know, he's been through a lot, and you could definitely see his progress from the first game, where he is, like, the cool guy who, like, isn't actually trying to be cool, like he, like, he wants to be like Sora, but, like, he can't, and, like, his cool act is just a facade, really, to now, where he, le where he's, like, legitimately his own person, like, he's accepting himself, and he's, he's a lot better now, so that's, that's nice to see, um, so yeah, Riku, and then, oh, 31 is just enjoy the game, okay, yeah, okay, so that was all 30 questions, N nice, so yeah, if you guys want to uh chime in and have your own you know answers down below that's cool um i would edit this video to have text and everything in the video itself that's a lot of work i'm just gonna upload this straight from my phone i might like put annotations in or subtitles but i don't know how to do that honestly it's, i don't know but yeah so thanks for watching um and let's all have fun in 14, 16 days when Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out. See you guys around.